I've been looking for a really good set of liquid chrome markers and I thought I found one last year but then I discovered this set by J Diction. Let's take a look inside and then I'll test it out for you. This box comes with three markers, a silver one, a gold one and a bronze one. The first thing I want to do is take a quick look at the tip. Many I have used in the past have rounded tips which is difficult to get into corners and crevices but looks like this one has an angle tip which I think will make it much easier to get into those tiny corners. On each pen, we have some instructions on how to use the marker properly. According to the picture instructions, we'll want to shake the pen for a bit to activate the ink inside. The second step according to the instructions is to press down on the tip several times until the ink starts dispensing into the tip. Now I'm going to show you how I literally transform three old pictures with these chrome markers. This first frame is from the Dollar Tree and it actually holds a mirror. The black frame is plastic and very lightweight but has a nice smooth surface. You can see how easily the ink glides onto the frame and if I'm careful with my strokes I may be able to give this one a spray paint look. I find that once the ink dispenses to the tip I don't really need to press down on the tip again. That's because there are no tight corners and crevices that I need to get into unlike the next frame that I will show you shortly. See how this frame now has a reflective finish? It actually shines and I still need to let the ink dry so you may still see some of the strokes I made on the frame but overall I'm very impressed with this outcome. Now for my next picture frame, this one is a really really old frame from the 90s. The frame has a lot of grooves and crevices so this time I'll need to refresh the tip occasionally by pressing down on it. But even with this frame, you can begin to see the reflective finish on the frame as well, despite the fact that this frame is actually very textured and somewhat bumpy in some places. And as I work through this frame, see how the tip has kept its angled shape? I mentioned earlier that other brands have rounded tips, and while working the rounded tips into grooves and crevices, the rounded tips actually start falling apart. But this tip is keeping its shape very nicely, and there's no sign of the tip breaking down like the other ones. This is a huge plus in my books. And here's what the frame looks like so far with the entire front done. And here's the final look after I inserted the first frame into the center, added some mirror tiles on the side and crystal doorknob legs on the bottom. And now we have a mirrored vanity tray with a beautiful silver frame. I think the silver chrome finish is absolutely beautiful and totally transforms the entire frame. For our next picture frame, it's another one I grabbed from the dollar store. This one is a thin brown frame that honestly I'm not fond of, but I'm going to color this one with the gold chrome marker. The frame itself is also smooth, just like the first one, so the ink is going on very smoothly. The tip literally glides across the frame, making it very easy and quick to cover the frame's surface. And here's what the frame looks like now. But to finish it off, I'm going to add some handles so we can turn it into a serving tray. These metal handles are left over from a reno I did years ago. These currently have a brushed nickel finish, but I'm going to apply the gold chrome marker to brighten them up. These also have a very smooth surface, so the ink is just gliding on with no effort. And because I don't have to do a lot of back and forth strokes, the handle has almost a spray painted look. And here's the final look with the gold handles attached to the frame. I added some craft paper to frame a mirror that I inserted inside. And now we have a contemporary looking serving tray with gold finishings. All three picture frames and metal cap it handles were major transformations completed with these J-Diction liquid chrome markers. They are a great alternative to spray paint and I'm very impressed with the reflective almost mirror-like finish they produce. These markers are also waterproof as long as you give the ink enough time to fully dry.